new wire. What? Welcome to... Oops, <laughs> I think we figured this out. <sighs> All right, obviously I'm a little out of practice because I haven't been on here for like over a month now. People deleted my channel. I'm sorry people, but this is the mess that I've been trying to figure out. Battery is charging. It was hooked up last night, all night, said it was full. I only have seven volts in there don't know what's going on with that so I have it reattached right to the top posts hopefully the battery will charge if not that battery is already toast I think a sealed lead acid battery is the only way to go inside these trailers because it's so rough so hence all the corrosion in here this has been a really trying three weeks to say the least pretty much had given up again but we have well, I'm flat broke, so I need to work. Um, so I drew up this little diagram and I said, okay, the pump works. I know that because if I bypass the relay, the pump turns on. The switch is brand new, but we took the wires off and tested it with a little voltometer. That works. We installed a new pressure switch. That works. Well, I don't know if that works. It's brand new. I took it out of the package, put it in the trailer. So I just safely assumed that it would work. Um, uh, the relay went out and bought another one and watched some videos on YouTube, learned how to test the relays. So both the relays are good, the old one and this one. So then I started going through and look at all the wires. And I noticed this wire that went from the relay to the battery, there was a lot of corrosion on the whatever this is called the o-ring clamp that clamps onto the battery okay so i replaced that one fresh wire to the relay still nothing so i said well that's it so drew up the diagram and i'm like all right you know what i'm gonna do instead of trying to figure out where this is wrong i'm just gonna re reroute a new system so when i crawled underneath here today look at this no room whatsoever hopefully you can see see this this is the crimper that i did in the parking lot in pennsylvania i think that was so once again what happened was the wire was still crimped on the actual plastic <sighs> look at the wire toast right i don't know if a copper wire would be better this t appears to be a silver wire so i yanked on this like i replaced this this is the pressure switch i replaced that yet you know two days ago whatever three days ago um so i came out here and i was going to try to figure out where to run my new lines and I yanked on this. I had to cut a zip tie back there because it was all hidden. Like everything's hidden underneath here, right? There's not really a good place to get to it. So anyhow, I grabbed it and pff, it just came apart. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me, man. That's where it is. So what we're gonna do, uh, I, I'm taking my time because that battery's charging. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna show everyone a trick. So these crimpers right they just allow all the dirt and grime and everything to get in there and they just keep rusting so obviously soldering and heat shrink is the way to go but i'm going to show everyone a little trick that doesn't know how to solder but you can still get a perfect locked on connection and then heat shrink it with a little trick so again i i i don't know if this is going to work so but 
from all appearances, this would explain everything, right? Once again, a tiny little thing that has burned me, but that's just it, it is what it is. So, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you all the trick. We're gonna hook that up. That battery is gonna be charging while we're doing all this, and we're gonna fire it up. And if that works, then we're gonna go through and start stripping everything off that battery and individually replace them one at a time. Ugh. Oh boy. Individually replace them one at a time. Um, you know, cause again, the corrosion is getting to everything. So wire signals quit working. I'm not an electrician, but what else do you do? I called everywhere. No one would help me out on this thing. They're like, I'm sorry, we're too busy. So it was either I figure it out. There's more stories to tell, but I will tell it as we work on this throughout the day. So look at this wire. It comes off the switch, right? Right here. There's our switch. Obviously nothing happens. So here's the way to test for the pump. Okay. This is why I know the pump still works. So this comes off the battery. We got 12 volts going into the relay and then out of the relay. And then this side of the relay will be the pressure switch, right? So when the pressure switch says turn off, the relay turns off and it stops the 12 volt power. So if you're wondering if your pump is dead, disconnect the two big ones that come from the batteries and just bypass the relay. There's the pump turning on, right? So that then you can eliminate, okay, that's not my pump that's dead. And this is where it got really confusing because again, everything appears to be fine except for nothing happens. So I think we have figured this out. But what I was getting at, look at this. So this trailer again, it's abused. I bought it cheap. The biggest mistake of my life was buying this trailer. I should've just bought a new one in 2020 cash and my life would be a hell of a lot better right now, but it is what it is. Look at this. So this wire comes off. That switch runs here. There's a split here with a crimp. There is a split here with a half-ass fuse put in there. It's a 30 amp. Three inches away, there's another split with another fuse. That's a 20 amp. And then heat shrinked, which looks to be probably original running into the wire loom, red wire, and I don't know, again, it's really hard to see through here, but I'm pretty sure that's, that's the one that does run to the, where would that be? You know what, I'm not sure. Now, so this red one runs into this loom, comes through here. Huh, where does that one go? Somehow it's in the loop, right? Where would it go? If it comes off the switch. Again, like I said, I'm not an electrician, so this stuff is really difficult. But this appears to be the wire that is corroded that runs from that pressure switch over to this relay switch. So, <sighs> Let's hook that one up, see if the system works, and then we're gonna go through and start cutting and crimping and putting everything together. Hopefully corrosion will not have us break down. So I'm back, let's do it. Here's the trick. If you don't know how to solder, but you still want a good looking watertight connection. Everyone knows how to use these, right? So it's got a little wire crimper in the center there holds the two wires together. So what you do, take yourself a little center punch or something. Oops. Hopefully that's a good angle. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Take your center punch. Put it on a solid surface. Uh, 
All right, and you start pushing out that wire crimper. My little Harbor Freight $20. Uh, boom, there it goes. You see it? $20 vise actually comes in really handy. Okay, now this is what's going to hold the wires together, right? Wire crimper. And then take standard heat shrink wrap it around heat shrink it together now you have a watertight seal as opposed to having an open one all right so pressure switch we're just gonna clip off this <laughs> come on you have to get these things if you work on the wire strippers they're just Best thing since sliced bread. So we'll put that one on. Now, oh geez, right on my cell phone. <sighs> Wire crimper without the insulation on the outside. And then we're just gonna crimp one half. I have to do it this way so I don't crush the other side. <sighs> Super tight. It's on there. The wire is in. Alright. Now... Great, my heat shrink. Yeah. After it crimps, I should be able to get this heat shrink on. So let's strip this other side. We're probably gonna slice off a little bit at the end because that's where the corrosion is. That wasn't quite enough. Wow, okay, this is being a bitch. I think I have to go put my glasses on, guys. I can't see anymore. Ow! Okay, and I just got stuff in my eyes. This wire might be corroded. I think we might be running a fresh wire from the. Yeah, this wire is just garbage. It won't even strip. So it looks like that corrosion's been running all the way up in there. And look at that, it doesn't reach. Story of my life. Yeah, there's just crap coming. All right. New plan, we're gonna run a wire, new wire, all the way from the relay to this pressure switch. We're just gonna run it. It's this one right here. It's 
So I put tape on here to try to stop the water from flowing in, but that doesn't work either. I think I'm gonna get some home seal, some sealant for like cracks for your house and fill this hole when I'm done with this. Because that box is constantly full of water. <laughs> Poor design, I tell ya. Poor design. New wire is crimped, heat shrink. No more corrosion, no more worrying about that. Let's go plug this sucker in, see if it works. All right, new wire. Let's route it properly. Say a prayer for me. We figured it out. I'm gonna go have some lunch, charge this battery. Wow, wow, wow. All right. <laughs> well, I'm a little perturbed, but well, we're, like I said, we're gonna get rid of this, whatever that's there, and we've got this new fuse holder, and anything that's got a split, and we're getting rid of all the old rings, putting on new rings, make sure everything is shrink wrapped. And then we got some battery terminal cleaner, make sure that's all cleaned up before we reinstall it. But I just went to three different places, nobody has these wide clips, so. Uh, we'll work our way around it. That's all we can do. Okay, here we go. Cleaning up wires. So everything is labeled, right? That goes on the positive. Red, 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 red. Everything that goes on the negative. Black, 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 black. And you can see one that I sh shrink wrapped around the wire versus that, right? So all the pins are coming off and we're cleaning it all up. Oh, obviously, here we go. It really does sound like that pump starting to go out too. I guess I'm gonna research a new pump. My next project is going to be Buy a new box like this and completely install a new box here that's not all rusted. And we'll have to reconfigure it so we can put a better pump in there. Man, that pump really does sound good. Or else it's the battery, right? This battery. 
battery was just charged. Is that 12 volts? Seven volts, so okay. This battery is toast already. Unbelievable. We'll kill that because this is doing me no favors. Okay, we're gonna get a new battery with the uh, uh, sealed lead acid one, and that's it. So let's go ahead and start cleaning up all these connections and make this look relatively good. Again, now that we know we're ripping the whole box apart in the future, oh boy, right there. We're not gonna spend that much time, but man, that sucks. Ugh. Okay, well, here we go. Well, there you go, everything is shrink wrapped and I'm just kind of zip tying so we've got, we've got all our positive right here, right? So I'm just trying to zip tie it so it's all, all the positives are on one side. You know what, we should probably wait till the new battery comes in. Um, so once I put the new battery in, then I can kind of organize these see where everything lands and then we just got to zip tie it all together so again here's our one two three what do we got one four going in the negative all nice and cleaned shrink wrapped corrosion should not go in there and then we've got our positives this one looked really good and this this one looks really good so I opted not to do those two but then the other ones, we have that new fuse wire. And as you can see, what we pulled out of there was that. So we had that dangling around with what, one, two, three, four connections. Now we have two and a proper fuse holder. So that's it. What a mission, huh? I can't believe oh well it's figured out whatever i guess the good lord didn't want me going out again so we'll figure it out but oh i got my glasses on put my sunglasses on so richard i did i came across a semi deal that was better than well it's the best deal i've ever seen on a semi truck 19 2018 peterbilt 579 70 inch cab mid-roof apu 177,000 miles and i was like for eighty-two thousand dollars, and i was like that's it i'm doing it it's time you know my income averaged over 17 grand a month for three months there i got denied on that then all this happened i was like that's it i'm buying a new trailer i got denied on a trailer so I'm stuck with what I got. That's all there is to it. I have to make it work. No one's going to let me borrow money right now, but hopefully there's going to be some good news on that in the future because we talked to a finance guy and we figured out the reasons why. Um, so yeah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take the battery. I'm going to put it on the charge overnight and then I'm going to have it tested tomorrow to see if that does it. But again, that's what's going on the new battery this is cleaned up We've got nice butt connectors for our relay switch is new so hopefully this lasts about at least a week when i go on the road and then i'll be like okay that's 
that's a pretty good run for me for not breaking down <laughs> anyhow we'll see you next week guys barring nothing crazy happens over this weekend and uh i don't know we might see how tuesday goes because there might be some left-wing radicals burning down cities when they don't get their way like they always do well yeah i think that's it so thanks for bearing with me sorry about the delay again the truck is all fixed up um well y'all know what was wrong with it underneath there let's just say i fixed everything Ooh, do you want to see another surprise the door is locked ah we'll show you another surprise when we get out on the road it's right around in this region yeah you know what it is all right everyone well thanks for watching go ahead and subscribe thanks for all the comments and on that chat the other day uh james and everyone else help trying to help out with that uh yeah what an amazing thing right wire hidden dead inside the plastic so <laughs> one thing to look out for if you guys have electrical problems that could be an issue so anyhow thanks for watching